So, hello everybody, what is going on dudes? It is Kibu Shimaki here, and welcome back to some more Mother 3. Last time, well if you do remember, we went ahead and arrived here in... <clears throat> um, and Osohe Castle. Oh, uh, well, we kind of made way to Osohe Castle with our buddy Duster. Um, I didn't really do much off-screen, I went ahead and just, like, I guess, got any items that I skipped over, and I guess did, got a couple, um, level-ups here and there, but, I mean, nothing really all that new. Um, uh, Duster is a bit higher level, I believe, since, than last time. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna well clear this out of the way. There we go, that's the present. It says a Rotten Eclair. Now, we can't really enjoy that item, at least not ourselves. However, there are a few things here and there that we have to clear out the way. There's much we could do in here. Just hurry up and take care of all these enemies. There we go. It's a little too close there. Um. Hmm. I definitely gonna want to take this. <laughs> and that'll just like nothing for us. <clears throat> Beef jerky. Definitely gonna want to eat that right away. There we go. I don't think we have much of a reason to go downstairs yet. Oh, come on. No! Jesus, I swear. This enemy's just... Don't stop bugging. Ron E. Claire, nice. Let's head back inside. Let's talk to this dude. That's a rope snake. He's incredibly popular these days. I'll trade him for one Ron E. Claire. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Things like this last a lifetime, so even if they seem expensive, it's smart to buy as many as you can. We got ourselves a rope snake. Thanks, it looks like we both profited. Treasure it for the rest of your life. <laughs> and I think I'll just buy the beef jerky. Oh, I need two eclairs, damn it. Yeah, 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 I know. Fresh mint. Yeah, I'll, try it. I'll trade one Rodney eclair for it. Run on out. Damn it. Damn it. I was trying to go to the other one. Okay. You're yo again a little too close now with my health and all that. go out of the way. Some fresh mint. It's perfect. A battle memory. What that is, is not an item that we can use normally, but instead it allows us to check out and, well, kind of practice on certain enemies if we want to. Yeah, you can get the backsides of certain enemies. You can always just go after them. And yeah. We could just re-battle old enemies. We really don't need to. Just keep on moving. Damn it! Mm. There we go. Just keep on moving. Okay. Um. Go on to here. All the fireplaces in this castle are connected via a squeak. A squeakrit passageway. Keep it a squeakrit. Keep it a squeakrit from the ghost, though. Yeah, all the. You can see what we're getting attacked from, but all the. Um, well, the hot springs primarily is just all focused on one separate way. So yeah. Yeah, I kind of saw that I was gonna go down this round. Oh, I'll meet you all just back up there. 
Okay, and we are back. So let's not waste any time. It's actually gonna move on because those last sets kind of attack after us. Give that fellow's piano song a listen. It's great. It's moving. It's tear jerking. It's hinting. Even if you get, even if you forget the small moles on my back and my inner thigh, I'll never forget you. In my lonely room, your wig weeps. Baby, believe me when I say I don't attach to anything to the walls of this room, like moles or wigs or wall staples. Ooh, 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 ooh. No wall staples. Hmm. That could be a big hint. You! You're an ordinary person, aren't you? Yes. No, you're not normal. You appear to be a thief person. No. Yeah, right. You are such an ordinary person. Wine. It's the water of life. It's this, in this castle, I'm the ghost who knows the most. We ghost enjoys having food pass through our spirits at all times. Do you want something to eat too? Here you go. It is a rotten eclair. Can we get another one? Didn't your mother ever teach you to say no sometimes? <laughs> well, if we get over here, we can see that we can scale the wall. So, we might as well scale it up and see what... Well, see what it gets us. Hmm. Hey, that's a runny clear you have there. Please, trade it to me for this beef jerky. Yeah. If you find any more run, just bring them here anytime. I look forward to having some more. Now, looks like we're on the other side of that room. Let's see what's over here. There's a bunch of different places, places to go. The Aquarius bracelet. And we just got sick. Yep. <laughs> well, first, let's use that. Then let's go ahead and equip the Aquarius bracelet. And, um... Hmm. I don't think there's really much else for us to do. So we go back up. Head back down here. Let's try talking with this one, see if he'll give us another rotten eclair. There we go. Yeah, you can pretty much exit and re-enter and get as many rotten eclairs as you want. Um, and trade them in for beef jerky upstairs, which is really nice. Yeah, if you try to head up here, you can see that it was blocked. Squeaky squeak. Many of the ghosts here are actually pretty friendly, huh? That's not something you'd normally expect. Well, there are some mean ones too. Are we like stuck? Oh, we were stuck on the, the mouse. See if we can get another one. There we go. Let's just quickly head up and trade it for some beef jerky. Yes, trade it. Yep, trade it. Just so that we have healing items. Yeah, before we end up doing that, there's still another room we could travel. Head over here. And we can see that there's a couple things here and there. Such as... Give the blue ruins have great things in the maps. It'd be useful to remember that. Check this. We get ourselves the Ozohe, the Ozohe sketch. Which pretty much leads us to a bunch of different rooms here and there. You can see some enemy. Sometimes I just don't get why certain enemies are ridiculously strong. Get yourself some nut bread, which is awesome. There you go, more HP. And we have ourselves a little bit of a mini boss. We encounter the strawberry slime. Uh, I don't think there's really much you could do against it, just kind of attack it as much as you can. Slime attacks, doesn't do much. I was doing pretty good right there. A lot of the sweet fragrance, which we fell asleep to. <sighs> it's just gonna attack us. Fast asleep. Attacks again. We woke up. I had 11 hits. That is probably the most of a combo I'm ever gonna do again. Like, seriously, I'm not gonna be able to pull that off ever again. Yep, I'm never gonna get up to 11 hits again. Ugh, the suggested fluids? Oh no. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to pull that off again. It's 
Stop it with your digestive fluids, please. It's gross. And there we go. We took care of the strawberry slime. We got ourselves some good, a good chunk of experience and a sprinting bomb, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and just heal up because we're gonna need it. We are definitely stuck up on good enemy, good items, not enemies. Uh, let's talk to you and just get one quick Ronnie Claire. Go. Oh. You don't have to hold back. Give me your buddy. It's like, when does he get for your mom? Cool. We got an extra one just because why not? Let's keep on scaling up. Let's talk with this guy and get ourselves some beef jerkies. Come on now. Come on. Let's see one more time. There we go. This is where the rope snake comes in heavy. Looks like this is a job for me. Hook me right onto the candlestick. Go ahead, don't worry about me. If we use it, we're able to swing across across small platforms. So this guy has I know you're rather strong, but the suit of armor inside here is definitely no pushover either. I'm talking incredibly strong here. If you think you're up to the challenge, I'll move out of the way. Regular old items, mystical thief tools, use whatever you can to cling clang boom bang that guy into submission. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you want, you can fight this bo little mini boss two ways. Oh, durable shoes. Oh, better ones. So let's go ahead and just unequip those. Let's drop the ordinary shoes and the Ares, the Ares bracelet just so that we have space. Let's get ourselves the durable shoes. And that is a definite boost. Now you can fight this boss one or two ways. You can fight him either with everything, just go head on, or you can take care of his extras, his sword and his shield. I'm just gonna be a little bit of a cheap boy and do that, so yeah. <laughs> there we go, took care of one. Uh, let's uh, I think I'm okay to not use a beef jerky. Take care of the shield real quick. And there we go. That's taken care of. Let's go ahead and use the other beef jerky. Take on the suit of armor. Some ghost armor suddenly attack. Now, usually he'd be a lot stronger, but luckily we took care of his little side help, so we don't have really much to worry about. Let's see if we can staple him. No, he can't. Just doing a bum rush. Uh, let's see if we can put him to sleep. There we go. Fourteen heads. Ah, damn it. And there we go, we took care of him. I was just trying to get to the sixteen, but I was fairly close, that was pretty good. The only reason why it was just super easy at that time was because I was able to um, air him out and all that. Let's see what this says. To be honest, we all hated that ghost knight. He was a real hard-headed jerk. So much, th so much so that I'd like to thank you for beating him. Thanks. Let that word of appreciation express my gratitude. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, we helped out, and we see that someone had went ahead and rushed on through. Hmm. I wonder who that would be. Let's go ahead and save our game, just because I believe one of the more annoying areas is getting close. Let's see. Okay, so we're just about going to be on the fourth floor. Let's see what this is. Picked up a pendant. Which is, I don't think we really yeah, have to our disposal. We just have dropped by a girl seen inside Osohei Castle. It's all that we know. It's all that we're gonna know. Uh, let's get a move on. Damn it, I tried to avoid him. Oh well. Okay, I uh, will see you guys back up there. Ugh, it's just so bad. 
Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. I went ahead and just cleared out a couple things and got ourselves up to where we should be. Um, let's try and avoid whatever we can and just keep on moving. There we go. Took care of that. Barrel man. I believe, is it this last door? Yeah. Every other door would usually not be that. Um, let's look around. I don't think there is much else for us to do. Shaking violently. Oh, we can't rest on it because of this guy. Um, you know, let's see. Our status, we're just above full. We have four beef jerkies, six thunder bombs, fresh mints. I think we should be fine. We're almost at full. Here we go. Let's take on the boss. I am Mr. Passion. The music I am playing is Family Matters. Second move. Listen thoroughly? No. This is what artistic know-nothings like you get. I would take on Mr. Passion. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit him with the smoke bomb. Uh, he's super uh, weak to crying and all that stuff, so you shouldn't have to worry about taking too much damage. Next up, you're just going to want to try and lower his defenses. Try not to... Or, if you can, try and lower his stats. Finish his baton. Still a scary. Let's see if we could do any. Okay, we lowered his offense at least. Finish his baton. Hit us again. Can we lower his his offense anymore? There we go. Lowered it by 6. So it's 18. Candles are flying. He's just doing damage wherever he can. And let's start throwing thunder bombs at him. Just so we do good damage. Should keep a close eye on our health. There we go. Candles are flying again. Let's go ahead and chuck a thunder bomb. Bam. Let's do some good damage. Let's chuck another thunder bomb. There we go. Grew more exuberant. He increases his attack. Let's throw on a, the scary mask. Branch his baton. He missed, which is awesome. Just make sure though he doesn't do too much damage anymore. Let's throw another thunder bomb on him. There we go. Chair charge. Just did decent damage. Let's throw one last thunder bomb. There we go. Sent everything but the kitchen sink flying. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Let's throw a smoke bomb. See if he. Okay, it didn't work. Yeah, he still can see pretty clearly. Oh, he can't see that well. Uh, let's use a beef jerky just so we have more health. And a chair charge, which is just an energy to damage. Let's branch the baton. Let's just keep doing whatever damage that we can. Sent a mouse flying at us, really. And there we go. We took care of Mr. Passion. Just like that. Fairly simple, fairly easy boss. Earned ourselves a good amount of experience, and Duster is now level 16. And everything just kind of flops. <laughs> Suck to the mouse. Sweet. Woo! You're a lifesaver, thank you! By the way, you can rest on that sofa if you want. And it felt something warm inside our hearts. And yes, we could take a nap on the sofa. Pretty much anything that has blue pillows, if you've noticed, can practically heal us if we want. That's kind of the mother three equivalent to the benches and stuff like that. Now that we're fully revitalized, let's head on in. It's a very delicately crafted face here. Yes, we see some sort of shiny item. And I say, maybe this is what Wes was referring to. We got ourselves the Noble Spittoon. An odd dance is depicted on the wall. The sound of blowing wind can be faintly heard coming from behind this wall. Hmm, looks like we can't do much with it now. Let's go ahead and let's take the hole, let's take the chimney, and find our way down to the basement. Where we can just go ahead and push on through the front door. Ah, it's so bright, and we can see that it is daytime once more, which is awesome. Let me see. What's up, old Nipolite? Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? If you're heading out, crossing the drop would be faster and safer than taking this underground passage. 
Here, I'll give you the drawbridge key. There we go. Nah, don't worry about giving it back. Just go on and take it. As long as I got this here underground passage, that'll be enough for me. Well, thank you, old man Nippolite. Let's go ahead and let's lower the drawbridge. Just so that way we can make haste to, um, across the way to... Back to old man West's. Back to home. Let's go ahead and let's keep on pushing forward. Let's keep on moving. We see that the town is lively once more. Do, 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 do. Let's not waste any time. Let's just keep on moving. Keep on grooving. And there we go. We've made it back. First. Open the present, we get us as another Thunderbolt. I mean, why not? It's always good to stock up. Let's talk with Wes. Oh! <clears throat> oh! Uh, that was faster than I expected. Okay, let's have a look see. Here we go. The Noble Spittoon. Is this. Hmm. I think we might have found what we're looking for. This luster. This texture. This delicate, profound, and shiny quality. Huh, I think we did it. This is the legendary noble spittoon, passed down from generation to generation in Osahe. Looks like we did it. You found it. My judgment was correct at first. It's correct after all. Duster, you are exceptionally. STUPIDER THAN I THOUGHT! YOU MORON! YOU MORON! YOU MORON! You call yourself a thief, yet you can't even tell what it is that you need to steal! Anything else, moron? Did you bring back any other big jackpot items? Are you sure you're not just fooling around to try and entertain me? You moron! Let's present the pendant to him. Let me have a look closer look at that. This, this isn't what I was looking for, but could it be? Hmm, seems that Wes kind of knows. And well, Duster might as well explain what had happened and who he saw. Duster, that pendant. I think its owner might be the Princess of Osahe Castle. Duster. Your first job was an utter failure, but this is no time to be calling you a moron. I'll come with you this time. We're heading to Osahe Castle at once. Let's hurry to the room the Splatoon was in. Alright, and Wes joins our party, and that wraps up this video for now. If you guys did enjoy, please show me some love to the Lord by hitting that like button. Comment down below what you all enjoyed or would love to see. Share with all your friends, family, or anything you might enjoy this type of gameplay or commentary. And subscribe. Also hit that little bell for daily notifications. But thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, well... Huh? It's that odd sound. Well, looks like someone's storming... Osohei Castle. It's the same exact people. Those pig-wearing people that we saw earlier. Well, looks like we got some trouble to deal with. But, before we do that, we're gonna have to deal with them in the next video. So, as they signal us off, <laughs> um, I say, that's pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. If you all did enjoy, please show me some love and support by hitting that like button. Comment down below what you all enjoyed or would love to see. Share with all of your friends, family, anything about enjoy this type of gameplay or commentary. And subscribe. And also hit that little bell for daily notifications. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will most definitely see all of you dudes next time. By the way, thanks and shout out to um, the people at walkthroughstarman.net. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for all the information you're providing me. And letting me spread it to the people. So yeah, thank you guys and I will see all you dudes next time. Peace out everybody.